Hey, howdy and happy day. Death and taxes, two things that people always refer to with regards to they have to happen. Well, taxes don't have to happen. You do have a say in that. You can vote, right? Right. The other you don't have a say in, but you do have a say with regard to how you live, I guess. Yes, you do. And how you die as well. You want to be cremated? You want to be buried? So many people are being cremated. I've often thought, hey, maybe where I'm going, there might be enough fire. Ah, I don't know. But cremation is on the rise. It's upwards to 75%. There's all kinds of different numbers and stats out there, but I found it kind of interesting. Just the other day, we had a relative. He's 103 years of age and he passed away. And, and I thought, wow, if I died, when I die, not if, what happens? Do I want to be cremated or otherwise? So I looked at cremation, and then it finally occurred to me, you know what, to really have an interesting time? Firstly, I'm not going to get cremated. I'm not. But if I did, I could make it really interesting. I would, just before I die, <laughs> I would take gallons and gallons of unpopped popcorn and, and eat it, throw it into my system. That'd be interesting during the cremation, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just share it with you. A little morbid way to start the day, but now let's get really morbid and talk about politics and the world that we live in. And how do we make it better? Right, right, right. It's got to be right. But it's left. Trudeau, the prime mistake of Canada, he was recently on a U.S. talk show. He's a left-wing talker, the talk show host. They all are. But Trudeau, it's amazing. He bragged about his system. He said, we've got free dental care. We've got free this and free that. And then he goes on to say, it's been a really, really tough time for people in Canada. Really, really tough. People are hurting. People are having trouble paying for groceries, paying for rent, filling up the tank. This is after he said we're giving everybody free stuff, right? Kind of put it together. Two plus two equals nine if you're at the private stake of Canada. Or the guy that was doing the interview. I mean, people are very frustrated. People are taking it out on him. So he says, for understandable reasons, I understand they're mad at me. I get it. I don't think you do get it. But hey, it made for nice press. That's all this was, was a pre-election thing trying to tell people that I give things away free so y'all should like me and should vote for me and it probably will resonate and work in some arenas because people are dumb as sticks. Many of them. Bah! Hey, and then he goes on to say, I've been steering us through all these things. And he's happy. It's like the guy with the Titanic. I'm steering. Are you happy now? <laughs> people, I'll vote for you. You're sinking. You're sinking. Why are you sinking? Because of left wing things. Left wing. Left-wing things, do you get it? I mean, governments are doing that all over the world. And, and it's crazy. It's just nuts. It doesn't work. Socialism doesn't work. Right is right. Left is wrong. It's just wrong. I, I mean, you're dumbing everybody down. I'll give you this free. Americans still say to me, many Americans, Canada, you guys got it made up there. I'm a dual, so I got it kind of made in both places, right? <laughs> you have it made. They say it's free. I say, free? Who, who pays nurses, doctors? It's not free. There's nothing free except stupidity. That's kind of free. Have a look at that interview and you'll get it. Pick up on it. It's crazy. I mean, you want a better place, get rid of the left. Vote. Pay attention. Be part of it. Indiana. Here's a judge. He rules that prisons must provide transgender surgery for an inmate who killed a baby. Here's a guy. He strangled his wife's 11-month-old daughter to death. To death. And he got 50-some-odd years in jail. And now he says he's got tattoos all over his face and all this stuff. And he says, now I identify as a Muslim woman. And the court has said, OK, we'll pay for that. And the Republican attorney general says, not so fast. We're going to appeal this. No kidding. Appeal it. And when? When you appeal, that would be good. There's a company. Can you keep up? <laughs> okay, there's a company. I kind of like it. I've never invested in it. I don't know much about it, hardly anything actually, but I like the name because it's Vermilion Energy. And I'm from Vermilion with one L. And it's kind of a cool name. It's a big company, I understand. But for some reason, I got a news release or a press release from them the other day. And I looked at it and I said, what is wrong with your people? It starts out like all press releases. It says Vermilion Energy and then in brackets it's got you know, what you call them during the press release, right, when they're talking. And then brackets says Vermilion, in quotations, we, quotations, our, quotation, us, quotations, or the company. Ah, so, so now we have gender confusion with a company. And they're in the oil business. I remember when people in the oil business were men. Ah, these people, not so manly. Not so good. Hey, okay. Last thing of the day, I got a pet peeve. I think we all have those. I've already mentioned a couple, but this one's kind of cute. Uh, you know, it's, it's like when you phone and you're asked to press one for English 
and a person comes on the phone and he can't speak English. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> Duh, that's, that's more leftism for you. Y'all come back. <laughs> See ya.